Hey guys, uh, Brooksy Tech here, and uh, I have another server build that I'm doing. Uh, slowly been gathering these parts up, um, building a Supermicro 1U uh, case. Uh, this is the SCE-815 case. There's a few other, there's a few different variants of it, but basically it's a 1U case. Um, it should fit the motherboard that I'm putting in there. This is the X9 DRD LF. Um, if you guys have seen me. Um, posts about it on the channel. Um, right now I just got some E5 2609s in there. They were just uh, cheap, the same ones I used. Um, just to update the BIOS on this board and the IF. Um, paid about $80 uh, shipped for the chassis. Uh, it didn't come with any drive cages, so I did pick up some of these. I got five for 10 bucks. That was a pretty good deal, so I'll have a spare. Um, I'll probably get another one that I can just have some cold spares uh, for when I set up ZFS on the other server and this one as well. Um, so excited to put this together. There looks like there will be a few challenges. Um, I'll need to um, arrange the standoffs um, better to just make sure they line up. And then um, it did come with a, a DVD drive. Um, I, got, I ordered one of those adapters uh, to swap this out to fit a 2.5 drive um, so I can put an SSD in there. Um, it just has a basic four port backplane. Um, it should just have pass through. Um, it looks like it came with a mini SAS connector. Um, I think I can just tear this off with all these um, extra plugs. I don't really know what those are used for as I'm you know, kind of still learning about server technology, but I do have this um, breakout cable to, you know, just regular 8087. SAS, so that should work. I should be able to get rid of all this. Uh, this is just a SATA uh, cable that'll plug into um, the SATA ports on the motherboard. Um, and I think I can put another 2.5 drive in right here. It looks like there's a slot for it because this kind of seems to be loose. So I might try and get another one um, just so I can, you know, put another SSD or hard drive in there. Um, but should bolt right up. For the most part, one problem I do see is that this is just like a cheap um, IO shield I ordered from China. Um, but as you'll see, it doesn't actually fit. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get that lined up, probably cut it down um, once this works. Um, so, being that it is a 1U case, um, it can't even fit the regular. Um, you know, half height cards, but I do have a riser. I got this um, on eBay for about 15 bucks. It's an RSC RR1U E16 um, 16X um, riser card. Um, it did have this little extra piece, um, but it wouldn't fit with it on there because, as you can see, it bumps into the um, the heat sink there. But there's no traces in here, so I just uh, broke that off, and now it fits. Um, I would have gone with an 8X because I only need that for my 9211, but um, this was the cheapest one that had the metal bracket on there because that kind of secures into the case um, like that. And I already checked it lines up, so it should be good there. Um, you know, it has comes with four fans. I think I can add two more. Um, it'll probably be pretty loud uh, considering it's you know not a lot of airflow and it needs to kind of get the heat out, but. Um, these CPUs do run a little hot, but I'll replace them with some low temp ones. I actually think I'm going to take the 26, 28 L's that are in my other server and put them in here after I order some uh, new heat, uh, new processors for there. I'm thinking of either some 2650 um, L's, which those are 10 core, 20 thread. Um, they're a little slower, um, so performance wise would take a hit in single thread, but it does offer more threads for like running VMs and stuff. We'll see. I might get some 2630 uh, L's for here. Um, those would be a good ones too. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, catch you next time.